What's up, guys? It's Justin Bly here with CME TV. Today we are at a Circle K event called Project Linus, and I'm with president of Circle K at CMU, Taryn. Would you mind telling us a little bit about Circle K as an organization and also about the event we're at tonight? All right, yes, certainly. So Circle K is basically the college version of Key Club, if you've ever heard about it. And we just like to help volunteer in the community wherever we're needed, whether it be at Homeward Bound, Harmony Acres, uh, Food Bank of the Rockies, just anywhere. And this year especially, we wanted to have some events that are more virtual based. That way you can still be safe while volunteering. As for tonight's event, we have tried to do this every semester. Unfortunately, last year, last semester got canceled, but we're back and this is just an event that we always love to do per semester where we make blankets for kids who are in the hospital and we just like to help out in that way. That is Amazing. Thank you so much. That's so sweet. I absolutely love the idea of allowing the students here at CMU to be able to volunteer and help out in the local community. That's an amazing accomplishment. And on you guys, thank you for doing that. So people right now are set up, as you can see, at all the tables. How many people would you say we got here? I have no idea, but I can certainly say it's a little bit more than I expected. I feel like with COVID and everything, people sometimes are a bit scared to help out, and so I'm so glad a lot of people are here tonight. And I'm going to make an educated guess of maybe around 50 or 60 people. I'm not positive, but yeah. Amazing, phenomenal. You get all these people to help out. Is it grown since your first few years doing it? Um, so it's definitely changed quite a bit, and it has grown quite a bit. This year has been a little bit of a setback, but we are hoping with this event, a lot of people will like gain that interest again in helping out in the community. And we would love to have anyone come and join Circle K. With this event in particular, I do believe that this is a great showing for tonight. Awesome. And so say I'm here at the event or I see this video and now I want to be a part of something like this. I want to be a part of this amazing community of Circle K. How do I find out about you guys? Where do I go? Or do you guys have meetings? Uh, yes, so we do have one more meeting this semester. It's going to be on November 19th. I know it's a Thursday, but I will also try to provide a Zoom link that way for anyone who's out of town but still wants information, they can come and watch over Zoom and see what we're about. As for just to keep updated with us, we do have a couple social media platforms. We have a Facebook group, an Instagram group, as well as a Remind text chain where I do like to at least send out a bunch of messages as to what events we're doing, some reminders, that kind of a deal. And if you would like, I can get you more information later on it. <laughs> but I can't remember off the top of my head. <laughs> well, you guys heard it here first. If you want to be a part of, some of something as amazing as this here at CMU, come find Taryn. Go join a Circle K. It's a wonderful, wonderful community here. And I love the events you guys are doing. Thank you so much for everything you do. Thank you for setting this all up. And as a member of the Grand Junction community and as a part of CMU, I thank you. Thank you. Thank you so much for coming here. I'm so glad we got the chance to like have this interview and talk so thank you hey guys it's Dalen with CMU TV I'm joined here today with Carrie and Michael Strasser uh, they funded the Grand Junction chapter of Project Linus uh, thank you guys so much for being here today so uh, I kind of wanted to talk to you about the event that's going on behind us so tell us about uh, what inspired you guys to start the Grand Junction chapter of this project you want me to? Oh, yeah go ahead <laughs> okay um, our daughter um, was at 14 she developed um, kind of like a like we thought it was appendicitis and so we took her to the doctors and they said nope um, it looks like it's a tumor and so they said oh my gosh and it was the size of a grapefruit and so they said um, I think this is cancerous so they went and they did surgery um, after that then they said okay you're going to Denver so we went to Denver and for a week and a gal came with some blankets. And so she says, you know, hey, we, you know, asked our daughter if she would like a blanket. And she's, you know, yeah, sure. And so we kind of asked a few questions and like, what is it about? And so she said, you know, it was Project Linus. And then she showed us and there's a tag that we put on the bottom. And it says to go to projectlinus.org. So we did, and we looked, and we're going, well, you know, and we'd see if there was a chapter here at Grand Junction. There was not a chapter. There was in Denver and then Durango, so we were kind of like, there was nothing in between. So we decided, you know what? 
after her chemotherapy that she had over in Denver, let's start a chapter. Because we saw that the effects on kids when they got them, and especially our daughter, it helped her a lot in the hospital. Uh, no comfort, but it was also because it was so clean in there that she had to use that blanket to cover up all the cleanliness because it was making her sick. So we said, okay, you know, we saw the, the effects of it all. So we decided, okay, after chemo was all done, we're starting one. And that's what we did yeah. 17 years ago. Yeah. 17 years, you say. That's, that's really crazy. And I'm sure uh, you've provided so much moral support for so many children around the Grand Junction area. And, you know, we can't thank you enough for that. Uh, Michael, I want to ask you, how has CMU specifically really impacted, like, the reach of Project Linus? I'm sure, you know, being at CMU right now, this is a pretty big uh, market for being able to have people help. Uh, how, how has that impacted Project Linus's numbers? Well, you know, usually every every event that we that Circle K has, we'll get, oh, 60 blankets or so. So, and it's, I mean, that's that's a good couple months worth of blankets for children and, and, you know we're not we're not hurting for blankets at home you know we, we keep plenty of blankets but you know it's CMU is once they started doing this it, it's just we belong together because that's Circle K that's their mission is to help children Project Linus is here to help children and so we, we're meant to get you know be together and and, and, and help children in the Grand Valley. And that's all we've been doing ever since, you know. I don't know how long we've been doing here at, at CMU, but probably seven years, I w I'm seven. thinking. Yeah. yeah, and it's, uh, every semester we, we do this. You know, with COVID last semester, it, it shut things down. So, you know, online learning and, you know, nothing in, you know, no student learning. So we couldn't be on campus. So, you know, that impacted us, you know, cause it's like, oh, what are we gonna do, you know? Yeah. You know, and we still had blankets, but it was like we we're so used to being here and, and 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 sharing our story and sharing, you know, how how it affects us and how it affects the the students here of, of putting a blanket together. And it's you know, it seems so so small, but it's it's huge to a child. It is huge, you know, firsthand. Like like Carrie said, with with our daughter, you know, she carried that blanket with her going through chemo and if you saw the the effects on, on on a child you know how huge that is it's it's not to be taken lightly it's from the bottom of our hearts we say thank you uh, such a small gesture can mean so much to, to to a child and you know I feel like now more than ever we, we definitely need that uh, that that connection with hospitals uh, really bridges the gap between you know us as, as, as a Mavly, us as, as a community of Grand Junction, and us as a community as, as a nation, arguably. Um, so I, I heard uh, earlier, Carrie, that this number being thrown around, 11,000, 11,000 blankets. Can you kind of touch on that? Like, how, how did that come to be? How, what, how, does, how has that come to fruition? Well, um, it kind of started basically word of mouth. I mean, we, we got our, our voices out there and then we kind of went to TV stations and said, hey, you know, there's an organization um, and so forth. So uh, that's, that's doing blankets. And so then we said, you know what? We really need people to do it because it's like, I'm not going to be able to do it. I can't handle the, the load and so forth of how many we're going. Um, and so it just kind of also like wildfire one person and then it went and oh i heard it on tv oh i heard it on the radio station cmu did a, a thing at the radio station um and saying they were doing blankets anyways it just kind of filtered through and so i always and and it's been growing since and and so then i still get calls and say hey you know, heard you or, you know, known about somebody else was doing blankets. I was like, yeah. We, we, <laughs> get, we get emails from people all over, you know, from, from the entire Western Slope. Of, hey, I, I got some blankets here. You know, we'll, we'll get, we'll go Build up, a, you know, Aspen and Steamboat and oh. Craig and, you know, we yeah. said Montrose and Delta and, you know, down to Paonia and, you know, it's like, yeah, you know, it, and we're we're so, we're so passionate about this, you know. We, it's hard for us not to talk about it, what we do, because Project Linus is 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 who we are, you know. And it's like, 
So when we go and ask, you know, we, we have to raise money every year. And like, we go ask for money. And it's like, yeah, it's not a problem to raise money. And it's like, you know, so it, even this year, we didn't have any problems raising our required donations. Like, yeah, because the need is so big. You know, it's, and I think this year more than ever, that really speaks volumes to the generosity of communities. And uh, for the family that you guys have really created here uh, between CMU and Grand Junction as a whole. So we thank you guys so much uh, for this. This is absolutely amazing. Um, we, we really appreciate what you guys do out here. Yeah. Michael and Carrie, thank you so much. Thank you. All right, guys. So we're here with some CMU students at the Project Linus Circle K event. Uh, we've got some student leaders on campus. I know a few of you guys are RAs. And I know that you've been a part of this for a while, which is super, super cool. Thank yeah. you for doing that. So just going to go down the line, say your name, and then also if you have a position here on campus and da-da-da. Cool. Um, I'm, <laughs> I'm Hannah. Um, I'm an RA on campus, and I also am a manager in the admissions center. I'm Misty, and I'm the SRA of Pinion. I'm Mariana, and I work in the game room, and I'm also very involved in SC on campus. I'm Jackson. Um, I am a RA in Bunting as well as a DA in Pinion. Very cool. Thanks, guys. Okay, so I know a few of you have been a part of this for a while now. What made you want to be a part of something as amazing as Circle K and just the community they've kind of created here? I'll start. Um, I, what's really cool about Circle K is it's a really good opportunity to get involved in your community, and it's also a really good opportunity to get involved at your school. So that's kind of what drew me to it was the community service aspect and getting to know more people. And then so I was in Key Club in high school, which is just Circle K, but high school version. So when I heard there was Circle K in college, I obviously just was drawn to it. I just love doing service in the community. Um, uh, my freshman year, I was looking around for clubs to kind of keep me involved and keep me around campus. And so, um, and so Circle K seemed like an awesome opportunity to get involved with the community and kind of give back a little bit to the community. And so that's kind of why I ended up joining. All phenomenal reasons. It's also awesome to be able to help out, uh, especially people in need. This event that we're at right now is making blankets for kiddos, which is always heartwarming and touching. Um, we talked a little bit with the president of, the pres of Project Linus and the president of Circle K about kind of why they wanted to get this here at CMU. Do you guys think it's important for students to come and be involved in the community in such a way that's just so forward and able to help as many people as possible? I don't want to answer that specifically. Um, I personally love Project Linus because um, at one point I was a recipient of one of these special handmade blankets and it really meant a lot to me. And so I love, and I made them in Girl Scouts and then to um, like receive one really means a lot when you're in a time that needs something like that. So it's really fun to give back and make them for other people. Proof that a little bit goes a long way and can make a lasting memory on a bunch of people. Well, thank you guys for being here. Thank you for being a part of something so amazing. We really appreciate you doing the interview with us. Let's go Mavs. <laughs>